what is going on guys Nick here back in with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the ingredients you need for the XP food for carnivores now carnivores being a mutation in the game but since I am a perception build I am an herbivore because in my opinion herbivore is easier to maintain um, as well as there are quite a few uh, foods to boost perce perception under the herbivore uh, mutation so but for carnivores I do believe they're like melee and heavy guns so um, if you're one of them characters you know here, this will help you out the first food is boiled sports piece brain um, it cost one sports piece brain or it requires one sports piece brain and one wood. Now wood should be pretty self-explanatory, but for the sports piece brain, um, it's a it's it's not really difficult. It's just like time tedious because when you kill a sports piece, they have a chance to drop a sports piece brain. It's not always guaranteed. Um, so basically, uh, the fisher sites you want to go to the fisher sites all around the map. Um, they respawn or reset however you want to say it every 10 minutes so um, that's pretty cool if you want to just like farm sword piece brain uh, you could do it that way but that is essentially how you get sword piece brain is you just go around fisher sites farming and then uh, kill a sword piece and eventually you know they'll drop sword piece brain I'm not sure the exact percentage or rate at which they drop a brain and Butcher's Bounty does not help that, by the way. It's kind of tricky, but I think it's like, I kill like five and I eventually get one, but... Next up is Tasty Squirrel Stew. Uh, it requires two boiled water, one salt, two uh, squirrel bits, two tato, and one wood. Um, boiled water is pretty easy. You just go to an area where there's water and collect water. And then you boil water um, just by going to the drinks tab and there's boiled water. And that requires, requires two dirty water um, and one wood. So we have salt. Salt is uh, kind of rare, kind of not, um, if you know where to look for it. Um, my favorite place to go would be over here at the White Springs Golf Club. Clear out all the tools and then just look on all the tables. Um, I know there's probably some in uh, Helvetia too. Next up we have squirrel bits, but I'm going to save that for last because I have 11 and I can show you where to farm them if you wanted to. Uh, no. Um, and Tato, that's pretty easy. Um, I would suggest having them at your camp uh, or, or, you know, planting them at your camp. Um, and if you don't have these, they're, they're the farmable dirt tiles that you can get from the, um, foundation uh, I think you have to be like ally rank or no not ally rank um, whatever the one below ally is I think you have to be that uh, for as far as reputation goes and then you're able to buy these farmable dirt tiles with uh, gold bullion but I think I think I do believe these are foundations I'm stepping on um, but if you are a carnivore uh, or somebody who crafts a lot of food or whatever these are very very um, important to have in my opinion uh, such a lifesaver to have all the foods that you will ever need at your camp so you don't have to go around the map like all the all over the place to get them but my favorite place to get uh, Tato is the general steakhouse um, or at least you go here and then plant it or farm it at your um, at your camp and what's cool about the general state house is that there are also super mutants there. All right, so as you can see, we're right here in this area at the state house, um, and we're we're behind it. Um, what you want to do is you want to equip um, a green thumb, gr the green thumb perk. What you want to do is essentially just grab the tato after you are done equipping the green thumb perk. So instead of harvesting one, you harvest two. Um, 
And then just grab all of this, uh, all the potato, and then go back to your camp. And then plant that at your camp. So now uh, you'll have it at your camp permanently. And if you, for whatever reason, need more um, after planting all that potato, uh, let's pretend that this razor grain right here is potato. Uh, so we're going to we're going to harvest it uh, with our green thumb perk on, and I think it's like an hour until it regrows back. But with one of these turbo fer fertilizer grenades, um, you just want to throw it on top of there. And it just grows bad. So you can just keep doing it and doing it if you ever need uh, the materials again. Now to be able to craft these, um, it's also a gold bullion um, purchase from the uh, from Foundation, I think. From the Settlers at Foundation. I could be wrong, but my... <laughs> For some reason, my instinct tells me that it's from a crater, but I do believe it's from, um, Foundation. Yeah, I was right. So it is, uh, 750 gold bullion from, uh, Samuel at the, uh, Foundation. I don't know off the top of my head what, uh, ally rank you have to be at, or what, uh, what reputation rank you have to be at for these to show up, uh, but I... I would imagine it's like pretty close to ally, if not ally, uh, because these are pretty useful uh, grenades if you uh, do a lot of farming and uh, harvesting or whatever. Next up is scroll bits. Um, scroll bits are pretty easy if you know uh, what you're looking for and um, server hopping quite a bit helps too. Um, but you, realistically, like this 11 I have in my Inventory can probably get you about five or six depending on if super duper uh, props so um, If that goes off you can probably get about six five or six maybe even seven um, depending on um, You know how much you did if it brought so when I was the carnivore uh, my favorite spots to go Was to start off over here at white spring the bunker And when you spawn a white white spring the bunker you'll just uh, spawn right here um, and what you want to do is actually, you want to equip the Butcher's Bounty perk because it increases um, the amount of uh, meat that you get. So, uh, or yeah, uh, eight percent chance to find animal corpses or extra meat from animal corpses. Um, the higher rent, the better. Again, this is a situational perk, so you don't have to have it equipped at all times. You can just like uh, take it off. Uh, when you're not using, or when you're not farming, then when you're farming, put it on, um, you know. But, very, uh, very good perk, highly recommend it. Um, again, it's a situational thing, I do not recommend it if you're in combat. Or if you know you're going to be in combat. So, you essentially just want to come... Sorry, that's how I tried. Uh, you essentially, when you spawn here, you want to come up here. Um, turn right, and you just kind of want to use vats. Uh, to scope out the rabbits and then uh, or not the rabbits, but uh scope out the area and uh, As you see I found one scroll right here um, And this time I only found one so that 20% that I didn't find extra uh, scroll meat didn't exactly work in my favor, but um, I like to at least go around the building and uh, See if I didn't find any others so right here. I found one more or no I found two more Yep, there's the second one. So right here I got two. Thanks for Butcher's Bounty. See it propped up there, right there on the side there. So I got two. So essentially right here I got five more. And I'm sitting on... How many scroll bets am I sitting on? So I'm sitting at 15. Um, and I was... Or 16. And I was at 11. So I got five more in the process. The reason I had 11 before is because I made this video before. And I didn't really like it. So I feel like I can make a better one. Uh... And uh, one more, uh, one that was more informational. So after um, after this area here, you want to go around the building, but for time's sake, I'm going to uh, just go to my second spot. Um, as well as you can go to, where is it, Tossitillary's Meat and Dough? I forget, I forget where it's at. 
here um, you will find a fridge that has some scroll bits in it um, and then right here right in here in this area is my second favorite spot to go so when you spawn here you'll spawn right here you want to go to the left run over the train tracks I tend to always use this uh, structure here as a reference point. So just kind of want to get close to it. Um, and then once you're to this point here, you just kind of want to use VATS again um, to scope out the squirrel. So right here I found one. And then there's another one. Should be one more around here. So I'm on a private server, so I know no one killed it. Right there, I got two more scroll bits. Right there, I got two more scroll bits. Where's the other scroll at? There he is. Hey, bud. Right, two more scroll bits uh, right there. So all in all, through the places that I went to, I got 11 more, squir 11 more squirrel bits. Um, and for whatever reason, if 11 isn't enough, um, if you need more, you can always server hop and whatever, um, and just farm the squirrels again. I don't think the salt works the same, I think the salt is a 24 hour thing, so be mindful of that. Um, as well as I think you can buy salt from, uh, different vendors in the game. Um, not sure which ones you have to do to that, um, but that. This is essentially all I did was I just took out the duels at Light Springs every other day or so and I had enough salt to uh, to last me for a while. So, like I said before, uh, I don't think I need to really uh, tell you guys where to find wood. Um, but what I am going to tell you is when you're crafting uh, these foods, make sure you have the uh, super duper perk on uh, so that way you have a 30% chance to get double the results make sure that is on at all times when crafting anything unless you don't, don't really care about getting double because you basically just hit for free it's, it's, it's crazy also when you're farming wood I recommend putting um, wood shutter on um, but I generally don't really ever use this perk but I just have it there just because um, just, just in case I ever like uh, feel a, feel the want or need to use it. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found some found it helpful. Um, and you're out there grinding for XP um, with these foods. Um, I will do a uh, video on the herbivore too, um, but just not right right here right now. I figured I would just give carnivore some video. And then do the herbal war in the, fu in the future. Um, so once again, if you also found this uh, video helpful, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.